I like to go shopping online. And when I go in person, it's like a thing. It's like a thing. I like to get dressed. I like to do my makeup, especially when I'm buying gifts or shopping around this time of year. So today I'm going to do an OOTD and get ready with you. Thumbs up if you enjoy. Okay, let's get ready. I want to put some shine into the ends of my hair, not style my hair. Every night I wrap my hair in a bonnet and I also blow dry my hair. Between doing those two things, my hair is like styled most of the time without having to redo it every morning. However, there's a heatless refresh method. Let me show you. I take a boar bristle brush. It has to be this kind of brush. And in this instance, a tiny bit of oil, like a little, little, little drop. And I'm just doing this through the mid ends and ends of my hair because I recently washed my hair. So it does need a little bit more oil. But the whole point of doing this is to take what oil is accumulated at the root and using the stiffness of the boar bristle, I'm taking that all the way down into the mid shaft and the ends. Those are the two places in your whole head of hair that usually look dry or dull, if they're gonna look that way. But when you do this, you give yourself the opportunity to use your own oils, which is cool. And it also helps to improve the elasticity and strength of your hair to give your hair luminosity, even in the mid shaft and ends of your hair. Now, a little bit of hydration into my skin. Going into a mall is always a dry environment, kind of like an airplane. I've got a serum that is super simple, but excellent in the combination of ingredients. This is the all-in-one face serum by Cure, a serum to smooth, firm, and brighten my skin. This serum has retinol, peptides, bacuchiol, which is a naturally occurring version of retinol, so to speak. And there's soothing boswellia extract plus a dose of hyaluronic acid. These ingredients being combined help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and dark spots and to smooth out textured skin. I like to use two pumps on my face and an extra one pump for my neck. This serum is lightweight because it doesn't dry down immediately. I have a little bit of slip to where I can actually do a little, very subtle face massage while I'm applying it. And then within about 30 seconds, my serum is absorbed and I've had a little face massage. I really like using the all-in-one serum underneath my makeup because I know that throughout the day while I'm wearing my makeup, my skin's receiving all of those benefits, even when I'm wearing makeup, and my skin looks smooth and bright. This is so exciting. Right now, Cure has their Black Friday bundles. The sales are really, really good. Cure is offering a bundle called Fade and Firm. This includes the all-in-one serum and a three-month supply of their micro-infusion system. This is micro-needling, but even better, infusing the serum with hollow needles into your skin. Having a three month supply means that your skin is improving as you're in treatment. And for daily comfort, you can use the all-in-one serum to improve the look of your skin along the way. This Fade and Firm bundle is a great value. I'm gonna leave the link below so that you can shop the Cure website and check out all of their awesome bundles for Black Friday. I'm gonna add the last step of skincare before I do my makeup, but for now, some accessories and nails because every time I go shopping, I do not wear pajamas. I do like to dress up. This is exactly the kind of situation where I can point out why I really like press on nails because look, I don't have my nails done. I'm about to go to the mall, do some Christmas shopping, have some fun. And if I want them done, it's only going to take two minutes and they're going to look like this. Now let's do some makeup. I have some cool new techniques. We're gonna start with the final step of skincare. This is an SPF that feels just like a moisturizer. It is beautiful and it's gonna lay perfectly over top of the serum. I'm using a cushion foundation. This is like packed with pigment, but it's so thin. It's really interesting. These techniques that I've been kind of remembering and learning are diffusion and layering techniques. 
I recently got this new cushion foundation and it's been a while since I bought a new foundation. I got totally out of the world of checking for new launches and seeing what's good. I just use what I have and it works and that's great. But when you run out, it's kind of like, wait, should I try something new? I did. And you know what? I was out for hours jumping up and down. I was at church actually. And what was supposed to be like two hours turned into it's almost midnight. When I got home after crying, weeping, worshiping, jumping up and down, praising the Lord, literally after the things I saw that night, the last thing on my mind was my foundation when I got home, but my skin and the condition of my makeup actually caught my eye in the mirror. And I looked and I was like, wow, this is actually a very impressive foundation also. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of concealer. I'm using the Age Rewind. This is like a new old favorite. The formulation is so thin, but the pigmentation is strong. So even though it's thin, there's not a lack of pigment, which is my favorite kind of makeup. I'm going to do something. Um, it's not dangerous, <laughs> actually, but it's, it's a little risky. You know anything in your makeup process that could ruin it, so to speak? I mean, you can always wash it and redo it, but that's what we're always trying to avoid. Okay, this is like a, a high risk thing. You got to do it very well. It turned out good today. So I'm going to, on wet foundation that hasn't been set, put a cool tone blush and I'll tell you why. We just did concealer, right? And everybody always sets underneath their eyes after concealer, including me. But I find that when I layer and diffuse this color underneath my makeup before it is set, it provides a backdrop, a sheer blush backdrop that I don't have to fight against. Watch me here. Baking creates this line here. You see that? So right where the powder is built up, that's exactly what I have to like fight and blend against if I don't put on the blush first. I always have in the past added powder foundation to the rest of my face just to set my foundation. And I'm using this infallible one by L'Oreal, but there's a difference between the dryness of baking your under eye and when I place blush underneath, it helps me to have a blushy cheek base that I don't have to blend and diffuse over. If somebody understands the concept, would you please explain it in the, con in the comments? Um, because I feel like I didn't explain that so well, but it is incredibly helpful in creating a soft focused makeup look. I'm doing the same kind of thing with my eye makeup. You see how I added that eyeliner over my eyes? I'm actually gonna cover it up with a creamy eyeshadow. And you see how that just made the color really diffused? I'm doing this so that when I add a liquid liner over top, which I'm gonna do in a second, the millimeter of a difference, the little small difference between that diffused liner with the powder over top of it and the liquid liner just gives dimension to the look that you wouldn't have if you just put one single line of eyeliner and you wouldn't have it as quickly if you sat there and blended out your liner. I'm taking an ash brown liner. This is very shadowy and nice. And then layering a little bit of chocolate liner in the outer third for some dimension on the lower lash line and then topping it off with mascara. I think I've had this mascara for a little while. I don't know, a couple of months because it seems pretty dry. And whenever that happens, I just try to hold it at the root of my lash and wiggle it a little bit before letting it go. And that seems to help get more product onto my lash. I'm gonna use some of these. They actually look super weird. These individual lashes are not ideal. So I switched to a more regular set of individuals. And I'm gonna top off each eye with maybe three or four of these clusters and then add some blush. Remember how we added blush underneath? Now we can see the full blossom of its color. I'm layering a warm tone one over top and this will help it stay all day. Plus there's no issue with blending because we have that base there. I'm gonna add a little neutral lip liner and then this 
Tinted lip balm. One more time. Tinted lip balm is awesome. It's the right, I'm, I'm passionate about it. It's the right amount of color. It's easy to apply. You don't even need to look in the mirror while you're doing it. Actually, that was too much color, so I patted it off. I still like to add some gloss over top, but I really appreciate, and comment below your favorite tinted lip balm, I really appreciate the amount of color or the lack of color that they have while still being hydrating. I just thought about putting my hair up and this is a good time to add this in anytime I'm going somewhere. I try to start thinking about what I might want to have in my purse before it is two minutes before I leave because that's never a good feeling. And I often want to put my hair up so I put some clips in my bag. I'm going to finish off with some bronzer on my face and then we are done the makeup. It's time to get dressed. I don't think that this particular purse is available anymore, but I just wanted to show you because I think it is like the perfect little purse. I made a whole change to my wardrobe and actually it was happening slowly for some time now and then it started happening quickly and my outfit today is totally that. It's a long maxi denim skirt. I'm going to put it with some fake platform Uggs, cute, and a turtleneck and this little vest. If you're looking for a cropped vest, check the kids section. That's what I did because I really wanted one that would go to the waist and the kids sizing is awesome. I think I got a larger and extra large in girls. And there is a shopping OOTD, old school. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comments below. Check out the description for all of the products as well as the Fade and Firm Bundle by Cure. I'll see you in my next video.